Martin Oligard was second. Two automatic ball fires for Dylan Allen. As to hope he advances on time. Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds, and we have a treat tonight. This is our first side project sour. This is Ballatin. It's their brown ale, uh, aged in, I don't even know how to say that, uh, Chamborson barrels uh, with uh, Ballatin cherries, uh, some, you know, with some Missouri microflora. It says this one actually has got a roundabout trip to get to, to us. This is actually from Nathan from uh, behind the bar. Then it went up to Jeff in Vermont. Jeff's an IPA nut. Thought we would appreciate the, uh, the uh, sour a little more. So he sent it down to us. Uh, so thank you, Nathan, and thank you, Jeff, for, for sending this. So, yeah, thank you. Yeah, so. Uh, and thank you, Perennial Artisan, for actually brewing it. Yeah, yeah, so like I said, I've never had a side project um, sour. I know you had a taste of one mm -hmm. at Hunapu Day. They get a lot of recognition. We had just a taste of one of their barrel aged stouts, which was just top notch. Uh, the two candles, which was amazing. So I can't wait to get into this. I was going to say, I, I, I can't wait. I'm already getting the fun. Uh, <laughs> All right, but we're skipping ahead. Just so. pours a nice caramel brown. It is color a caramel there. brown. You a see that there? Lace like white tan. head. Yeah. yeah, tan. 5% ABV on this one. Okay. Let's get the nose. Ooh, that's it smells funky. Wonderful. Just that nice funk is the word. I have. Uh, I don't know sours that well. My vocabulary with sours is not big, but this is funk. Horse blanket, wet horse blanket. Horse blanket probably sounds kind of bad. I don't yeah, know. but that's the that's I know what that's an accepted that's what, term. But I don't just... go out and smell and lick on wet horse blankets, but that's just kind we're, of the exception. We're in Kentucky, but we could do that. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that one show. We'll just have one sitting right here. But... So yep, that's horse blanket. Mm, smells wonderful. Get, get a little oak character. I, I was going to say oak barrel, some sort of barrel. Yeah, barrel. I guess some woody character to it as well. Yeah, I bet it's oak. Do you get any cherries? Kind of. I really don't get I cherries. Don't I get something tart. I know it's going to be a tart fruit. Uh, yeah. But I can't really tell for sure. All right, let's dig let's in. Let's do it. Cheers. 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 Oh, that's wonderful. Wow, that is good. So many initial impressions. One is kind of a woodiness, tartness, yeah, funk, I definitely get wood. and that sweet and sour cherry. It's, yeah, I get big sour and big tart yeah. out of this one. And as it sits there, whoo! I'm getting that, uh, my salivary glands are just squeezing. I'm getting oh, that. Oh, yeah. Mmm, that is a treat. Yeah, this one's got a really good blend of both tart and sour. That was um, just Some a, are just overly tart, some are overly sour, and this is just a good blend of both, but I do get the, the barrel character out yeah, of it. Yeah, it was an explosion of flavors. And they, it doesn't say what type of barrels, it just says, mm -hmm. oh, it does. That's the one that the first one you were saying? Chamborson, Chamborson. I don't know what that, that, don't know what that is. I can't read your writing either. <laughs> Shame boy. Yeah, whatever yeah. that is. But it's it's a uh, it's an oaky wood yeah, character. Yeah, it must be because that's what I get. But a nice mix of mm. funk and tartness, but pretty pretty puckering, I think. Yeah, I wouldn't have known that this was a brown ale because I don't get malt character at all. I mean, I just get funk and uh, lots of it. Mm. This is yeah. really good. So yeah. you said you get dark cherries, so I mean it's got a cherry on the bottom. Ballatin cherry, I guess it's a type of cherry. Ballatin cherries. Okay. I think they're from Michigan. Hmm. You did your research. It was on the untapped. Okay. I did as little work as possible <sighs> to sound semi-intelligent. Hmm. But no, this is a treat. Again, education into sours. I've been getting some good ones and this one is, this is wonderful. <sighs> I would definitely yeah. drink more of this. Oh, I would, yeah, I would pay extra for this one. Uh, this is phenomenal. I'm going to give it a four or five. Yeah, I'm between four or five and four or seven five. This is one of the best sours I've had in a while. Hmm. Hmm. I'm scared, I guess, to give it a higher because I just don't know what else yeah. is. Yeah. You know, this could be a five and I don't really know the difference. It's just because this isn't quite my style yet. But I've been, I've been enjoying getting into these and this is, this is one of the better ones I've if not the best ones I have, best one. Yeah, I've had. I think I'd go four or five. I'd pay a little extra to get this one, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't pay a lot extra. Yeah, uh, it's really good. Yeah, but anyway. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, Jeff. And we're gonna yeah. sit and finish this one up. Anything else? No. Yeah. Get your hands on some of this if you can. Um, I think they do uh, a series of these with different fruits, mm. um, so they will have to try to get have to get some more. So yeah, for comparison. Absolutely. As always, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.